Madam Speaker. Government, through the Judicature Amendment Bill 2023, had proposed to increase the number of justices at the Supreme Court from 11 to 21 and the number of Court of Appeal justices from 15 to 55 in a bid to address case backlog. The Parliament's Committee on Legal and Parliamentary Affairs scrutinized the bill and to a bigger extent weakened the demands of the government. The committee maintains the fact that the case backlog in courts of law mostly result from unproductivity of justices and poor management of cases. I just wanted to inform the minister, we did pass the Judicature Amendment Act in 2008, increased the number of justices of the Supreme Court to 11, but since then up to now, they have never appointed the 11. There are only nine that have been appointed. In this regard, the committee declined to okay an increase of justices of the Supreme Court from 11 to 21, hence Parliament deleting the clause. Increasing the justices of the Supreme Court will result in a bloated bench, deter easy and efficient decision making and will increase the burden of the taxpayer. Reviewing the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court, High Court and Magistrates Courts will result in a reduction in case backlog in the entire judiciary and reap more benefits than increasing the number of justices of the Supreme Court. Minister Nobat Mao expressed a disappointment with the committee which he says had enough time to come to terms with the demands of government. So the committee should have come to this house and also reported our undertakings and also the efforts that we reported to the committee, namely that we have enhanced the numbers at DPP. So, Honorable Minister, we mentioned what you had said, but we didn't agree with you. Thank you. Thank you. Parliament only allowed increasing the justices of the Court of Appeal from 15 to 35 after Minister Mao pleaded with the committee of the whole house. Including the Deputy Chief Justice to 30 justices, including uh, the Deputy Chief Justice. And the practical matter I'm dealing with is the health of many of the Court of Appeal judges and the backlog which ties them down to carry out more research and to write judgments, which means the panels cannot be constituted at the same time. The Parliament's Committee on Legal and Parliamentary Affairs, among other justification, reveals that the intended increment of the judges puts a great negative impact on the taxpayer. The committee notified in the report that the Chief Justice be empowered to appoint justices in the acting capacity to address the side gaps. Daniel Mugoya, Shamim Naiga, UBC News.